Now, the star of the popular TV series Emily in Paris, Lucien Laviscount, turned the air blue at last weekend's Oscars by yelling the obscenity F the Tories. That's right, F the Tories during a TV interview. This follows comedian and Mission Impossible actor Simon Pegg, who used similar language about the Conservatives and Rishi Sunak in a viral video earlier this year. So why is it open season on Conservatives and their supporters? That's tonight's big question. Is it wrong to be right wing these days? Uh, to debate this, I'm delighted to welcome former Labour MP, a very balanced man himself. He'd never used the F word, Stephen Pound, and the assistant editor of Conservative Home, William Atkinson. Hi, William. Welcome to the show. Uh, why is it so easy now to attack people who are of a conservative disposition? Uh, why do those on the right get so brutally vilified? Well, one could point to the myriad failures of the various Tory governments we've had over the last 13 years. But I'd say in a broader sense, um, this is just a less eloquent version of the you know, 1980s slogan of you know, Maggie, 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 out, out, out. Being conservative has always been an unpopular opinion with people who hope to be fashionable. And I just like to quote the Gospel of Luke, um, you know, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. If the only argument you can come up with against a particular political party or political disposition is to simply bring out the F word, then frankly, I don't think you've got any eloquent arguments. And I'd hope that somebody like Stephen, who is a far more eloquent exponent of the, le the left's case, um, mm. would agree with me that if you're simply resorting to four letter answers, it's actually undermining the very case that the opponents of the Conservative Party would want to make. Uh, indeed so. Um, although I just wonder, William, whether this does have a longer recent history. Uh, the brilliant journalist Ross Clark, who's joining me later in the show, wrote an article last year entitled, Why is it OK to be vile and offensive if you're left wing? Um, we've had, for example, the actress Miriam Margulies saying that she'd wished Boris Johnson had died of COVID. Well, I mean, yes, but I think it, it, it's, it's, I, I think it's essentially, to get very technical about it, it's the idea that if you're left wing, you're fundamentally aiming to be progressive, you're aiming to challenge the status quo. And I think not so much as there was 20, 30 years ago, but there's still um, some sort of frisson um, of excitement that comes with using bad language. Um, hence why we you know we're saying F the Tories now rather than quoting the actual, um, the expletive in full. Um, and so if you want to make a point, if you want to make a splash, then, you know, deploy um, relatively lewd language. But I mean, Miriam hasn't done anything of much interest for the last 20 odd years. So she's got to find some way to get into the papers, right? Ouch. Uh, Stephen Pound, great to have you on the show. Yeah, uh, the comedian Joe, Joe, um, uh, uh, Brand, God, uh, thank you, Joe Brand. God bless you for being my second brain. Joe Brand uh, said on a Radio 4 comedy show uh, that it would be uh, very entertaining to see acid thrown in the face of Nigel Farage. Now, in fairness, uh, it was a satirical show, and I'm the king of free speech. She's entitled to say it, but it doesn't seem to happen in the other direction from the right towards the left. No, no, I mean, like you, I'm all in favour of free speech, but free speech doesn't mean shouting fire when you're in a crowded cinema. There's sometimes you've got to be a bit sensible. Look, let's get a, a, a serious point about what left and right wing means. The first time anybody ever talked about left and right was in after the French Revolution. And it was the left and right wings of the Revolutionary Party. In the first National Assembly, there were no royalists and there were no monarchists. They had been executed or slaughtered in the Gironde. And so this is the thing from my perspective from the left, what makes it so extraordinary is that mm. the real hatred, the real loathing, the left right is within socialism, it's within the left. Right. I'm constantly being called a centrist or a moderate or a Blairite or, you know, sort of right wing star. Right. And, you know, that's the real hatred. The problem we've got here is the conservatives have left the battlefield. They're not making the case. Even in my time and, you know, many, many years in politics, I was a knock on doors. People said, no, I'm a conservative and I'm proud to be a conservative. And I clear off you ghastly neo-communist socialist. Twats. It's about personal. Anyway, so the point <laughs> being that the, the, if the conservatives present, as they did this week, a budget, which was basically a rehash of Brissett Phillipson's speech on childcare, and that has nothing which is authentically conservative about it, then you can hardly blame people saying that, you know, th that this is, is now an easy, it's a cheap shot. But it has uh, always been said, you know, the, the, the good lack all conviction and the right are full of a, ter uh, the, the wrong are full of a terrible intensity. And there are people who will look for this cheap shot to make this comment. But honestly, the examples you've given, Mark, these are children in a playpen throwing their feces around. I'm sorry, it's uh, uh, yeah. embarrassing.
And I, and I think you raise a really good point, Stephen, because I was talking about wokeism last night and uh, extreme political correctness. And in my big opinion, I pointed out that there are millions on the left around the world who detest wokeism. Um, and yeah. especially more traditional uh, Labour well. Labour MPs, more traditional Labour voters, red wall yeah. Labour voters. They don't like the PC stuff. So it's really the woke left that seem to be behind this uh, this vitriol and this uh, this vicious language. Well, I just wish that there's somebody who'd actually make the case. Look, this afternoon's demonstration, there's a usual thing, Socialist Workers' Party banners saying all refugees are welcome here. Yet nobody is saying, how come? Sorry, my light's just gone out. I've put a shilling in the meter. Yes, I, I realise that we're in a cost of living crisis, Steve, but uh, if you could stretch Even in the West light bulb London, for the next couple of minutes, no, I'd be the, grateful. Why on earth isn't somebody saying, do we really want every single person in the world to have free entry to this country? Why aren't people making the case? Why are people absolutely abdicating responsibility and leaving the battlefield to those with the loudest voices or you know, the Miriam Margolis with their scatological coprophiliac rubbish? Yeah, uh, Stephen Pound, what is this? Mark Dolan tonight or the Blair Witch Project? Um, <laughs> do you know what we're going to do? Do you know what we're going to do? Um, I don't know how busy you are tomorrow morning, but we can have a little trip to Ikea and I'll get you some lighting. Should we do that? Well, it, it's, it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so I think maybe, maybe I'll buy Mrs P another light. I, well, says, uh, I don't uh, know what uh, happened uh, there. Um, and I'm sure many a politician... Oh, God, it's gone again. I, I honestly don't know what's happening. But... No, there you go. It's, it's, the, uh, it's the Blairite Witch Project. Um, that's, that's actually what's <laughs> happening there. Well, well, look, at an interesting um, moment of levity, but, but only for a moment whilst we go back to the poison and the vitriol. Uh, so, William, is this an issue uh, only within a certain pocket of the left? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. But I must say, first of all, that I agree with every word um, that, that Stephen said there. Um, it was in, in, entirely, um, entirely correct. Um, so uh, I, I apologise if you wanted a bit more of a barney. Um, but no, I think especially when it comes to celebrities, there is a tendency towards using this sort of language. Because I say they want to get on the covers of magazines and go viral and all the rest. But I think it's was it Michael Portillo said is that the the you know the the right thinks the left is misguided, the left thinks the right is evil, and I think that's always been true. You know, people who, uh, I, I you know, I've had it myself, simply walking down the streets at Tory party conferences or whatever. You know, I've never actually attended as a Tory party member, only as a journalist. But there's always a baying mob of people to shout in your face, and you don't get that at you know you don't get Tories turning up in their flak jackets and tweeds to um, do the same outside a Labour party conference, right? So I think there's there's it, it, I think part of being left wing, and I think this dates back hundreds, if not thousands of years to the time of the only Christians, is that if you think you're fundamentally righteous and mm -hmm. you think your opponent is fundamentally evil for advocating the things that they're advocating, of course you're going to be angry, of course you're going to be passionate, and of course that's going to lead you to, lead, um, to use you know, quite strong language. And I entirely mm -hmm. understand that. Um, that doesn't necessarily make it right. That doesn't necessarily make it a useful argument okay. for making your argument. So I, 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 I do find it infuriating. I, mean, I, I was listening to the news quiz today, uh, last Friday, yesterday's news quiz. That was that was and your first mistake. On the BBC, anybody who makes a comment um, about the Conservatives on that got a great roar of applause for it. And it just means, why on earth isn't the counter-argument being made? Why on earth are people not being challenged? When they go for this cheap shot, this low blow, you know, this, this, this idea just to try to shock to get some sort of a reaction, why on earth aren't people standing up for it, apart from, obviously, you, know, you Mark, and, and, and well, a few other people? Well,